currently the number one female tennis player in the world. Net worth of 10 million at the age of 21, supported by brands Rolex, Nike, and Red Bull, and these are just a few of the many famous brands. Who can this person be? Well, the secrets are out in the thumbnail itself. So, who could it be other than our Polish professional tennis athlete, Iga Swiatek? You might be saying now, well, I have clicked this video because it's about Iga Swiatek. Yes, we understand your excitement. It's just too hard to not be a fan of THE Iga Swiatek. Today, we are talking about the people who have been with the athlete even before her success and supported her into what she has become. The people whom Iga Swiatek holds close to her. Yes, you have guessed it. We are going to talk about Iga Swiatek's family and how they have supported the athlete into becoming the number one tennis player at the age of 21. On 31 May 2001, Iga Swiatek was born to Tomasz Swiatek and Doria Swiatek in Warsaw. Tomasz Swiatek is a former athlete who specialized in the sport of rowing. He was associated with the Polish University Sports Club AZS in Warsaw. Tomasz won the gold medal at the 1987 Universiad. What's more interesting is that he's even represented Poland at the 1988 Summer Olympics in the men's quadruple skulls event, where he and his team placed seventh. In one of the interviews, Tomasz Swiatek claimed that he wanted both of his daughters to practice individual sports to become responsible for their success and failures and even cope with them. In an interview with Super Expression, he explained more about why he wanted both of his daughters to learn an individual sport. He said that he had always adhered to the principle of practicing sport does not have to interfere with life but can help instead. Doria Swiatek, mother of the 21-year-old athlete, has graduated from the Faculty of Dentistry, Warsaw Medical University, currently practicing as an orthodontist. She is also an author of numerous scientific publications as well as a member of various scientific societies. Even though Doria prefers staying away from the media, she does not fail to show her wholehearted support for her daughter's athlete profession. After Iva's French Open triumph, Iga's mother said in one of the interviews, there is absolutely nothing wrong with egoism itself. Sport is democratic because it shows how much you can achieve without wild card and with your work and determination. She also said that she wasn't worried about the media's interest in her daughter. Agata Swiatek, sister of Iga Swiatek, is the person who influenced Iga the most born on July 6, 1998. She has always seemed to be super supportive of her little sister's success. Even in Iga's French Open victory, Agatha could be seen cheering and smiling with pride for her sister, evident in her eyes. As I said before, Tomasz Swiatek has previously tried both of his daughters to practice individual sports. He first started with Agatha, introducing him to tennis, whereas Iga was meant to be a swimmer. After briefly competing in the 2013 ITF Junior Circuit, she had to leave tennis due to injuries. She was 15 years at that time. After that, Agatha followed in her mother's shoes and became a dentistry student at the Medical University of Lubin. Right after Agatha left the court, Iga stepped in, taking the sport that her sister was unable to pursue and excelled in it. She could never beat her sister on the court. This very failure became Iga's sole motivator, helping her to pursue tennis. But in the end, we all know what happened. Iga stayed on to beat the best players in the world, taking the number one position in the tennis world. Wow, this feels like a movie, isn't it? After watching the French Open final live, Agatha congratulated her little sister and her victory with the caption, Unbelievable, no words can describe it, you are amazing. I can be as amazing as she is, but even an amazing person requires help and support. This is where the family did not hold back any love and support, celebrating their daughter and sister's success with open arms and smiley faces. Maybe that's the reason Iga is frequently caught with humor in her action and words. Iga Swiatek has become what she is, with immense hard work and dedication. At only 21 years old, she has earned a net worth of 10 million. Brands like Nike till the end of 2019, Rolex, Red Bull, Toyota Lexus, and racket maker Technofiber. The journey from a simple athlete to Iga Swiatek, the number one tennis player in the world, was not that smooth. Iga has confessed in many interviews that she sometimes suffers from stress and depression due to excessive pressure of expectancy to win the competition. According to Iga, tennis was a chance for me on the court and make my own decisions. I loved winning and was good at it, but I did not fall in love with tennis right away because I did not know how much it could bring to my life. At the age of 15, I played my first junior Grand Slam at the French Open. 
This was the first time I wanted to be a professional tennis player. I always knew I had potential. I was the top-ranked player in Poland, but did not know if I was mentally or physically ready to play professionally. We do not have many players in my country, so I had not around experienced players who could teach me how to make it on tour. I had to find my way. She also added, people are not aware of how much pressure we have as tennis players. For me, pressure has always come from the inside. I always wanted to work with a psychologist. There is a belief that psychologists are only for people who have problems, but I feel like psychologists are for people who want to improve. I realize my personal life affects my performance. I started working on non-tennis things and focused on my relationship with my parents. I realized my on-court performance would improve when I settle off-court things. The mental aspect is often the difference between winning and losing a match. The most important thing is to maintain a positive state of mind because we have to deal with many things such as injuries and risking our health sometimes. I want to raise awareness about tennis in Poland and do charity work to help kids achieve their dreams. I have many ideas but have not had the guts to act on them yet. Even if we live completely different lives, we are still able to relate to her problems. Isn't that weird? But in 2022, we have found Iga Swiatek in her best playing form compared to previous years. There could be another additional factor which is supporting her in achieving her success this year especially. The factor is her coach. Yes, her coach. For the past five years, she was practicing under coach Sears Putowski. He claims that from day one, I knew Iga Swiatek had the potential to reach the world number one ranking. After the end of the 2021 season, Swiatek decided to move to another coach after ending her five-year partnership contract with coach Sears Putowski. Coach Sears Putowski said that he is happy about her success. Iga Swiatek's current coach is Tomasz Witkorowski, who she introduced during the offseason. Witkowski, who is also from Warsaw, previously was the coach of former number two and Wimbledon finalist Agnieszka Redwanska. According to Swiatek, her view on this change was, For a week I had my doubts, she told this to the press before the start of the WTA event in Adelaide. A lot happened since we started. I felt it's a good time for a next step and a chance to maybe like reset a little bit. But I'm pretty happy that Tomasz was free at the moment because, yeah, I also feel like I wanted to work with someone who's from Poland. But right after working for three weeks, her view changed and she has become reassured. For sure I can see the experience. Even when we like not talking about specific stuff about tennis, I can see that he's been through a lot on tour because he's been on tour for many years. That's for sure something that is giving me more comfort and stability, she said in one of her interviews. Now we are yet to watch what more she will be able to achieve as the years pass by. Do you like this video? Then quickly hit the like and share button. Go ahead and comment down below which was your favorite part in this video. If you don't want to miss out on any more videos like this, then quickly subscribe to our channel and smash that bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. See you next time.